We are doing some Sims 2 today. We are playing over here, of course, lady, my pleasure. Um, we are playing the Pleasants. So we've got Mary Sue and Daniel here. Now, Daniel has aged up to an elder for us. Um, you know, he's getting on in years. Uh, he, uh, is... I mean, he's feeling good right now, but his lifetime aspirations to become a professional party guest. I don't remember if he even had a job. I can't remember if he, he has a job. He was definitely, if he did, he was in the wrong career. So we've got him in the correct career now. We are pushing, pushing, pushing. <gasps> Lady, thank you so much for the gifted sub. That is so, so, so generous of you to Queenie. Queenie, I hope you enjoy your sub. That is so kind and so, so generous. Um, If we can get some hype for Lady, that would be wonderful. I'm going to throw some in the chat right now. So, so yeah, and also I have the chat on my iPad. <laughs> so I'm like, I've got three. <laughs> this is all very new for me, but this is all to try and make the stream better. That's what I really, really want. So, but thank you so much for that gifted sub. That is so, so kind. Thank you, Toast, for the hype as well. So, so yeah, we've got the Pleasants. Now, I don't know if you remember, but uh, last time I had triggered uh, a glitch because Angela and Dustin got married. They they kind of eloped on a date. Um, and when we did that, it conflicted with one of my mods that makes it so that time doesn't get all messed up when you travel out of the house. And so because I did that, when I tried to move them out, I just triggered this huge glitch. So I ended up quitting without saving. What I ended up doing was I went to the neighborhood. I moved the whole household out and into Mary Sue's and Daniel's house. And then I moved Lilith, um, Dreamboat Dirk, and their twins back into their house. So that's what I had to do. You're going to go get some rest, Panther Girl. Thank you so much for hanging out, um, stopping in to say hi. I know you're not feeling well. Um, you hate you're going to miss it. The VOD will be there for you, and we will be here for you when you're feeling good again. So please, please just take care of yourself and get better. That is the most important thing thing so we're sending you all lots of healing vibes hello alex how are you doing light change you want some teal lights all right let me find the teal lights oh let me close that um okay let's see can i get it to teal <laughs> uh ha, that looks like teal to me how does it look how does it look to you Look what the cat dragged in. Yes, and Alex also was very helpful with some uh, Ethernet tricks on Discord. Uh, he he taught me a few different things um, with how I can actually unlock internet speeds. It looks pretty good. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have some teal lights. Thank you for the light change redemption. And it is wonderful to see you here. I hope you're doing well. So, so yeah, this is where we're at with Angela and Dustin. Now, I have to be honest. <laughs> Tech support coming through. Yes, Alex, my sister. I am so lucky to have some wonderful folks that were willing to help me out over the weekend. And I'm really, really hoping that this means that quality of streams is only going to go up for you all. So we're fingers crossed. Today's setup is temporary, but hopefully um, by the weekend for sure, we will have a five-star setup and we will no longer have the issues that we did so for the finale of life is strange hopefully we won't have any jittery stream or anything like that it will be much smoother so so yeah now while I was doing all of that and fixing that glitch I actually heard <laughs> baby music um the lullaby the pregnancy lullaby so these two well i was busy moving um angela's twin out these two decided to use acr go ahead and get themselves pregnant so i distinctly remember last stream saying i didn't want to get them pregnant just yet but i guess that they had other plans so um i have a feeling that they will have a baby on the way um and yeah, definitely not planned. Definitely not intentional. People just seem to love to get pregnant in my Sims 2 game. So I guess that um, Mary Sue and Daniel will become grandchildren twice over. Let's clean up some of these dishes. Pretty, pretty nasty in here. 
Bronco. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just, I was like so shocked when I heard the music and I thought about quitting and not saving, but then I would have had to redo everything that I did to get uh, uh, Lilith out and I didn't want to do that. I love Zemo. I love you too, Fiction. It's so wonderful to have you. Thank you again for the raid. And of course, if anyone hasn't yet, definitely check out Stranger Than Some Fiction, especially if you're a Sims 2 lover. Um, and I was trying to get some CC into my game, although I don't know if I really had time. Um, I extracted the files, but I, I didn't check to make sure that they're in the game. So for Mary Sue, the other thing is she actually wants to become a world-class ballet dancer. So she wasn't in any career, I don't think. So we have set her up, um, on that career path. Now she's also a couple days away from becoming an elder. I don't know if, um... I don't know if we will manage to, uh, I don't know if we're going to manage to complete these two's aspirations before they pass, but we will definitely try our hardest. So I think for Mary Sue, interestingly, she wants to have a party and talk to Dirk. Um, uh, and she wants to make some money. So I think for her, we're just going to focus on her career. And also, she was very excited when the twins came over to have a relationship with them. So maybe we might try to get her reconnected to Lilith. I ran over here when I knew you were alive. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's take a look at this house setup. So we did bring over... Why do we only have a single bed? I'm. Did they not have a double bed? Wait. Why do I have a single bed? I don't know. Okay. Well, we need to... Um, we need to figure out uh, what we're going to do so that they can have a proper sort of bedroom. Um, and then obviously they're going to need um, a room for a potential baby. So I'm going to get rid of all of this here in this room. And I'm just going to put back a normal window in, I believe. I think I put that there so that can stay. Um, and I'm also going to do the same thing here. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to extend... Um, I'm going to extend this room a little bit. So, uh, well, we can keep that. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's make this room a little bit more mature looking for now. Now, I think from in like in Dustin's mind, he knows that Angela's parents are getting on in age. Um, and I, I really think that he is hoping that, you know, they will inherit the house if they take care of, of, um, of her parents. So, Maybe he would help out a little bit with this extension. Let's just pull it straight out here and see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. I don't know if this is going to, like, ruin ruin the roof or if I have to, like, completely redo the roof. Because uh, I'm thinking... Even if we just... What if we just, like... um make this wider. I'm loving this. Oh, good. I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's what he's hoping. So I think he would help contribute a little bit towards um, home renovations, knowing that, you know, they're going to probably inherit this home. And obviously, they just went ahead and started a family without asking. So uh, they're going to need a little bit of extra space anyways. Uh, so if I go over here, now the question is, roofing is a struggle as it is. Roofing in The Sims 2 is its own kind of struggle. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that what I have to do is I just have to delete this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, those pieces are still there? Okay, that's good. Um, so let build the wall back along this side and let what am I thinking let's go back into the roofing tool and I'm hoping I can make the roof go the right way it doesn't always go the way that you you intend for it to go 
Uh, that's, see, I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go this way. Yeah. No. I want to go this way. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's do that. And then let's try again. Um, please excuse me one moment. This takes a lot of focus. Hello, Omega. How are you doing today? Welcome to our mod from the gods. We just started off uh, with a wonderful raid from Stranger Than Some Fiction. So, uh, Stranger... So Fiction brought over a bunch of their friends, which is a wonderful way to start things off. Um, I'm just trying to do some renos to the Pleasant household, which, you know, is always a challenge. Always a challenge in Sims 2. Okay, so that kind of gives them their... You know what? I just ruined something, didn't I? They... Wait, they have pieces like this. Yeah. No, we can, we can do this. We can do this. Uh, why doesn't it want to let me? Uh, why is this? Why is there a hole? I don't think I paid proper attention to the roof before I deleted it. Can't intersect. Uh, um. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that something like this is what we want. And it's telling me I can't, I'm not, I don't know what object I'm intersecting with unless it's like, oh, you know what? We might not be able to have a wall. Is that, is that it? I might regret this. Let's try this. Um, maybe this does a wall or maybe not okay let's put that back or let's just let's just make the whole house bigger I mean we've started right so I think I will bring this out then can we afford this by the way yeah we got lots of money um may as well you know now that we've started now that we're on this path <laughs> They have so much more house. I'm ruining it, but they will have more house. So, okay. So if we do it like that, then... <laughs> what do I do with this, actually? I don't think I want these two pieces. Yeah. Let's just get rid of this. I really, really want to just use that little tiny roof piece here I believe um just this little I don't understand why it doesn't want to let me do that okay um let's change no hmm I'm not sure why it won't let me do that can I do this here uh, there was definitely roof here that I just completely, completely got rid of. thought that was gonna work okay what was on this part of the house what if we just what you know what we can do okay I have an idea I'm gonna save it what family are we playing tonight tonight we're playing the Pleasants um so we've got Mary Sue and Daniel's house here as you can see that I may or may not have ruined 
Um, and we are also have Angela and Dustin that have moved in. So, okay. I think, I think what I'm going to do is two things. So let's go back and delete that and try it. Oh no, wait, we can't. These are multiple pieces of roof. Let's try it again. I'm just gonna make these a little bit wider except for that piece. That piece can stay as it is. Um, there we go. This is what I wanna do. Yeah. Okay. So this looks a little bit weird, but I kind of feel like we can ignore it. And for these walls, I'm going to push them back by one. And what we'll do so we can get rid of this. And I'll do the same thing here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put like a little railing. So it's almost like um, they have like little fake balconies all around their house. And I think that that will be fine. Um. <laughs> no worries, Omega. Okay, let's go back to where do I get my fences from? Yeah, let's get like a nice What? What is what like Tudor style? This is like a Tudor style home, right? So what would be a Tudor style fence? This one's a little bit intense, but I kind of, if it didn't have these, like these are a little bit aggressive on the sides, but I do think that this is kind of maybe the style of home. I don't know. Tudor style is like a, a London, like a UK style, I believe of home. But I think something like that could work. And then it just kind of looks like, you know, um, all the roof I deleted was um, intentional. It's like a design choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't look amazing, but I think it will work. Uh, wait, no, I just want to, there we go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grab this and we will paint the bits that are missing. There we go. There. You almost can't tell. No, you can definitely tell. Uh, perfect. All right. We'll do that. And then let's grab some windows also. We'll just put them like right on top of the other windows like that. And I don't think that like we'll put doors or anything out. We'll just put windows. Um, okay, perfect. All right, something like that. There we go. Okay, that will be fine. Nobody will notice, I'm sure. <laughs> and let's see. So if I do open this up, actually, which room is? This room is still, I believe, the bigger room. Maybe not, actually. Uh, okay. I think what we're gonna do is... Oh no, I meant to get the railing, actually, please. Thank you. There we go. So we've got a little bit of extra space here, which is kind of nice. Um, and then here, this can be like almost a little office nook or something like that. And one thing that we need is we need floors that all match because all this is a little bit stressful to look at. Um, so let's grab our floors. Um, let's do like a nice light wood. I kind of feel like it should maybe be the other way, but.
What? Why is it all messed up that way? Okay. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, let me just double check. I just want to keep an eye on the stream. I'm just going to open it on my phone because I want to make sure that it's like relatively smooth. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it is. Okay. Perfect. 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 Um, yeah, because if we're going to keep this set up, I just want to make sure that um, it keeps working. Doesn't break, obviously, because tomorrow I'm going to be making some pretty big changes, basically. If this works for us, then, uh, then yeah, it'll be pretty big change. So I don't want to do it if I... If it's not actually um, a real solution. Why can't I get these floors to go the right way? Who knows? Okay. So something like that I think works. We can maybe move this chess table now. And we actually have a little bit more room for activities up here, which is nice. So we could put more skilling objects, maybe put um, some of the gym stuff up here so that there's a little bit more space downstairs for other other things. Um, and I believe that since this is Angela's room originally, I think that we will keep this one for uh, for them. And let's get them a double bed, of course. Uh, Murphy bed. <laughs> I don't know. Murphy beds. I don't know if they're dangerous in Sims 2, but I don't want to risk it. I like this bed, actually. This one's really cool. Let's do this one with some nice soothing blankets. And then we can paint a little bit. Um, let's just paint uh, all the rooms the same color for now. There we go. And uh, this room is all stone. I think we'll paint it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Ignore the floors. I can't seem to change that back. It's a little weird. Um, sometimes you just got to roll with it. And I think this is one of those times. Okay. So something like that. We could actually... No, we can't steal more space. Mobot thinks we're playing Life is Strange. It's giving the rolling message. Oh, let me change. That is, so basically, Omega, I think you missed it, but I I have a temporary weird setup right now until I get um, a new piece from my computer tomorrow. So I had to transfer all my bots and stuff to a new computer. Yeah, let's put the save reminder on instead. And Life is Strange, we will take that off. That is Friday. For anyone that was hoping we would get some Life is Strange tonight, that will be on Friday. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot to check the bot. I was just trying to make sure everything was running. <laughs> and it is, so that's all good. But I forgot to uh, I forgot to change uh, the bot messages for today. So there better not be any jitteriness tonight. I'm hoping. And if there is, then I'm calling the cops because that is not allowed. Oh, this is a nice table. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's move our plant over here. Um, and why is it so dark in these bedrooms? Let's get some lights in here. You've been watching the VOD of Life is Strange episode four. You're almost done. Intense. Looking forward to Friday. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. The episode last week was a lot. <laughs> there were a lot of shocking moments for sure. Um, so I hope that uh, it's going well. It was also long. We were playing for, I think, five hours. So good on you for getting through that as well. Um, I didn't realize it was like midnight by the time we ended. I was like, wait a second. It is definitely very late. So, oh, there's a little bonsai on the tree. I didn't even realize. Uh, let's put a couple lights in here. Um, but yeah, 
that that episode was intense for sure. There was a lot that happened. A lot of very shocking revelations. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited. And I'm really, really excited because I did feel so bad about the quality of that stream. So I'm really excited that hopefully um, for the next one, that won't be an issue. All right, let's get sort of a neutral... We'll get like a one of the neutral cribs. Maybe we'll get this one. Um, where should we put it? Maybe in this. This can be like the sleep area. This baby's gonna have a huge room. And you know what? It deserves it. Um, put a little little changer there. I actually don't even really know how to set this room up. It's really, there's a lot of space, um, but it's still a little bit awkward. Let's move this into the parents' room. They can they can take this mirror. It's a nice mirror. We don't want to throw it out. Um, and then let's get a little dresser. Uh... Maybe we should put that, let's put that at the end here. It's pretty big. Back in uh, Sims 2 days, furniture was bigger. <laughs> like, have you noticed that furniture has gone smaller as the decades pass? Like, now you don't get these giant furniture like this. Like, you just don't. It just doesn't exist. Everything is like this. This size. Much more reasonable size, if you ask me. I'm going to put two of these in. Those are actually quite nice. Um, and then we can give them a rug to try and hide this mess. Uh, yes, you noticed that too, Queenie? <laughs> yeah, it is like, I am very happy about it. But sometimes, so I have my grandfather's, um, like I inherited his dining table, which he loved. Um... And it's like, it's just so big. So I recently moved, Queenie. Uh, I moved, so I left, I moved out of my condo end of May of this year. Um, I was temporarily living with my sister for a few months. And then I got this house in, end of July. I only moved in in August. But when I was looking for a new place to live, I had to consider the dining room table size to, you know, really truly understand if I could live there or not because I was like there's a lot of places where I was like you know if I if I live here I have to get rid of the table like it just it just wouldn't fit in this house so yeah furniture furniture getting smaller is definitely a thing I feel like um so it's a beautiful table but it is a very intense table also um yeah I feel like the doors just need to be moved like that. It's a little bit better. Okay. There's not a lot of stuff yet, but let's leave it like that for now. Um, so we can do a little bit of gameplay. Now, I tried to get some CC in the game. Now, But when I unpackaged the files, they were all... Like, I just dumped all the folders into my, my CC folder. And I didn't... Uh, I don't know if they'll work. Look at these two. <laughs> this is what they're doing whenever I'm not looking. They're just like going to get themselves pregnant. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess that they're definitely in it for the long haul. I just realized they still have some stuff, right? Yeah, he he brought a bunch of stuff with him. Like all this music stuff. Let's put it in the baby's room for now because we don't need it just yet. We've still got like a little bit of time. Um, maybe we can put that in there and then I'll just put that back in the inventory and I'm going to move this bonsai tree into here and oh the flowers this was from their date let's put the flowers here um, oh he has a bonsai tree too I totally forgot okay we might need to get more um, tables and things but Let's put at least this photo of the two of them out. This was when they got married. So <laughs> it's a cute little photo, I think, personally. Um, okay, 
Let, let's do some play gameplay and I do want to see if um, I have the new CC because maybe we could change up their looks a little bit. So I want you to, maybe you can, she has the best cooking skills. So I'm going to have her serve some food and we'll start with, um, with Dustin. Uh, so maybe you can come over here and change your appearance. I'm hoping that there's some male hairs in the CC I downloaded. Um, I actually don't know. I just downloaded like a bunch of batch <laughs> batches. That's one really cool thing. So Sims 2 has been around for so long that if you go on Reddit, my favorite place to hang out, just don't tell my friends. Um, you can find like batches. So old CC people have just uploaded in batches. Now there's always a little bit more risk, of course, when you do it that way, um, that you could download a virus or something, but I am a risk taker. So I think it's worth it for the CC when you get like a good batch of CC. Um, so you can actually get a ton of stuff that's like already packaged. Oh, this is like, it's like maybe he's still growing out his hair, but he got a bit of a trim. So, so yeah, that's what I did. I don't even know exactly what I downloaded. I just know the creator and I did. Yes, um, Stranger, I did. I did check the CC. That's actually where I started. I started in the journey um, in the three links that you shared on Twitter, which were amazing. Um, and through those links, uh, I found a few different batches. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think that there's I, I think it was a lot of clothes that I got. So we could go shopping. Um, we could go shopping. I think this is nice though. It's like he maybe trimmed his hair a bit and maybe he'll sort of just do a little bit of a shave. Um, ooh, let's do the sideburns. I always use, the sideburns don't really match. Can I, can I not notice that they don't really match? No, I don't think so. Okay, we're not doing sideburns. I used to always give my male sim sideburns. Um, yeah, I started there. I didn't have time to go through all of them, though. Um, I was, again, trying to set up this, like, dual PC stream setup. Um, and make sure that the bot was transferred over and everything. So I wasn't, I wasn't able to go through it all. So I still have a bunch of, like, I have a gazillion tabs open. And I'll probably keep doing that after. <laughs> I was like, how much can I shove into my game as quickly as possible? Um, so I think some of the, some of the items are definitely from that. And then I, I kind of like got in, stuck in a few threads. Oh, Queenie. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Stranger Than Some Fiction and Stranger Than Some Fiction. I hope you enjoy your sub. So many gifts today. Thank you everyone for your generosity. It is very, very wonderful to get gifted a sub. So let's get a little bit of hype in the chat. Thank you. That is very, very generous and sweet. I'm going to throw some hype in too. There we go. <laughs> um, so yes, enjoy your sub and thank you so much for your everyone's generosity tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Um, especially like it's making me feel... <laughs> Aww. Uh, Pleminja, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the fam. Um, this is definitely me in bed watching your stream. Aw, so cute. Um, yeah, thank you so much um, for the follow as well. And I hope you're having a wonderful time. And I'm glad you're cozy in bed. That is a great place to be. Daniel has been promoted to projectionist. Show the finished product to the world. Press a button here and there. And presto, you're not working very hard for that tidy little paycheck, are you? Good thing you're a night owl. Daniel now works from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. He brought home 392 today and got a bonus of 784. And Sue, Mary Sue has gained a point of creativity from the small micro. Microphone. So, by the way, in case anybody is wondering on the status of these two, um, they do not get along. She caught Daniel cheating with the maid. Um, Daniel hasn't caught her cheating, but Mary Sue actually did have um, an affair with Cassandra Goff. Um, do I use a different computer for work? Yes, work gives me a computer. So I, I have to, I'm only allowed to do work on a work provided device for security reasons, um, for my job. So they would never let me put any work onto any personal devices. I can't even use like my personal phone to access like teams or something to chat. 
Um, it's pretty strict. So yeah, they provide a laptop. They provide a home, <laughs> a phone. No, not with Cassandra Goth. Yes. And that was all ACR too. Like I did not, um, I didn't make that happen. They made it happen themselves. But poor Cassandra um, was uh, kind of, I think, being taken for a bit of a ride by a few Sims. First Dawn, then Mary Sue. Um, so Cassandra is now settled down with a love of her life. If we have time tonight, we'll check in on the goths next. Um, but yeah, that, that happened. It was a moment. Um, Cassandra, I believe, uh, had some arguments and stuff with Mary Sue and was kind of, oh my gosh, she's attracted to Dustin. <gasps> no, why? <laughs> At least she's unattracted to her, uh brother-in-law that's good okay let's see oh yes i see that's new that's part of yes okay 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 good so the cc did work um it was all clothing so i don't think i have any new hairs today but look look this is a little bit more this um decade which is kind of fun whoa this is nice stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Poor Cass, I love her. I love her too. We finally, it took us a while. We had to go out um, a few times to see who she was attracted to and it took us a while, but we did manage to get her to settle down finally. Um, so we will definitely check in on her and see how she's doing. Oh my gosh, I love, I love, these are new too. I don't even remember seeing these before. Um, but yeah, I love these. I love, 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 love. Okay. What should, what would he wear? He's, uh, high up in the criminal career. I feel like he would try to be a little bit more, like, unnoticeable. Can I have a link to that one thing you were talking about with the CC? Yes, fiction. Let me... Uh, I think I still have it open on my computer, so I will send it to you. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. This was definitely a great find. Um, okay, let's, let's do something like this. Something simple, I believe. There we go. Of course, my pleasure. Um, from one CC collector to another, I am happy to share. Uh, okay, let's plan our every day. Well, he can eat first, I guess. Once he's done, we'll plan his every day. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So she's definitely pregnant. Now... <gasps> okay. Well, I guess she's not mad at him anymore. I thought these two hated each other. I guess... I guess they still have, like, their friendship. She's just mad at him, but that's not going to stop them from woohooing, I guess. Um, and it's not going to stop Angela from just walking by them as they're getting busy in bed. So that's cool. That's good. Good for them. Let's, let's leave them to it. I'm not going to be the one to disturb them. Um, once you're done with that, uh, maybe we should put a bathtub or something in this room. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this. There we go. There, he's got, he's got a new look. I like it. I like the, I like the shoes. Those look like, you know, he could outrun a, the cops in those. I think it's a little bit more practical given his, uh, line of work. Um, what time does he work at? He works at 3 p.m. So it's 6 a.m. right now. Let's have him do a little bit of a workout. I think it would be good to just keep working on his skills. Uh, imagine these two got pregnant. <laughs> That's just what we need is Mary Sue getting pregnant too. Okay, come grab some food. Uh, and let's see if do let's see if I have any new hairs. Uh, change her appearance. I think I gave her long hair for a wedding, but now that she's actually married, uh, I don't know if we'll keep it or if we should try and do something new on her because so many hairs look good on her. Um, so I'm just doing a quick save. Maybe we can dye her hair again. We did dye it blonde for a little while. So I think we could see. 
Uh, we could see if there's any new hairstyles that we want to try. I might take a look at the blondes. She went from throwing up to dancing. <laughs> she did. She definitely did. <laughs> Oh, I could see her wearing something like this, but maybe when she gets a little bit older, like she's still fairly young. You know what I mean? She's still on the young side. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't had like a stomach bug in a while. I think the last time was around Christmas last year. I had like a quick... 24 hour flu or something but yeah I definitely don't go from <laughs> vomiting in the shower to to dancing I remember I remember when it was because my sister was moving and I actually whoa that looks really cute on her actually um I was supposed to help her move and I actually showed up but I had all these like blood blisters on my face because like the pressure and they were like, you should go home. Uh, we don't need your help that badly. We could do like a blonde for her. I do feel like she likes, like this was the hair that we gave her for a little while in university and I really liked it on her. I thought it was really fun. So maybe we can do something like that again. Ooh, silver. Let's give her like a really nice like blonde hair and then I think we'll lighten her eyebrows as well. Yeah, let's do something like that. Um, maybe it washes her out a little bit though. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to change her outfit. So let's go. Um, uh, shop online, buy clothing every day. There we go. Let's go do that. Uh, game feels a little bit jumpy. And then you probably need to go to work. Yeah. Um, and Daniel, once you're done eating, maybe you can go to bed. So I think that would be good. What does he not want? He doesn't want to have a baby, but he wants to have a grandchild. Okay. Well, hopefully Mary Sue didn't end up pregnant we'll see um okay so i think she needs a bit more color with her uh with her lighter hair is what i'm thinking Um, yeah, I put like 8,000 pieces of CC in my game <laughs> right before. It's been over a year since you have a stomach bug you hate throwing up. Me too. It is definitely not fun. Not fun at all. Um, came up to the hospital with your mom and she already checked out of the hospital. No, we told you. Oh, no. That's frustrating. Hope that you find your mom and that you're all okay. But that's really frustrating. Uh, yeah, there's so much CC online. <laughs> uh... Whoa, that's nice. I like that one. So, but yeah. Definitely Reddit is a good place. I would say. Even though I pretend like I don't know what it is when I'm like at work and stuff. Reddit, I've never heard of that. <laughs> I don't I don't know that part of the internet. Is it on the dark web? Oh, we could do like a, a little tucked in sweater like this. I agree. Love all your CC. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm at just kind of like a little bit in awe too because a lot of this is new for me. Ooh, let's do like a nice purple sweater. I could see that. Um, and then let's look at bottoms. Ooh, it looks like these didn't work. 
<laughs> Whoopsies. Um, okay, well, ignore those ones. I'll have to go in and manually pull those out. But there's some here that work. Um, those are cute. We could do... Hmm, I don't know, with the... Oh, there's some nice, like, floral pants. Those are nice. Or maybe some light jeans maybe some blue jeans like that i'm just putting it all in the cart we won't take it all um but i'm just getting it for now yeah definitely some of it didn't work <laughs> but that's okay i'll go in and i'll remove it uh i know that some of the cc i think had like a body mesh or something and it probably just didn't come with that Oh, that's cute. I like that one. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, definitely all these shorts ones didn't work. I'll have to figure out what the file name is and uh, pull it out, which I can do. Not an, no sweat, not an issue. It could also be because, yeah, I think it separates some pieces that are, like, full body. Uh... <gasps> Overalls, those are so cute. Okay, um, I don't want to take too long, so... Let's just take a quick look at full body outfits and then and then we'll decide what we're going to actually buy. Oh, that's cute. That's very post-COVID world. <laughs> also, it kind of looks like um, a pregnancy outfit, so maybe we should get that. Um... Okay, I think let's take a look at what we have in our cart. Um, so we had this one, this one. I'm going to remove one of these. Re let's remove this one. But you know, we can buy all the rest of the stuff. Why not? And then let's have her go ahead and, oh, she's about to vomit again. <laughs> Once she's done for that, let's plan her every day. Um, you're working out, which is good. Whenever you're done, you can come up here and take a bath. Uh, they do have a maid, obviously, Caitlin, um, who is Daniel's lover. So that's all good. Uh, should we do the sweater or the shirt? Let's do the shirt for now because she's not really showing yet. Um, oh, I didn't really get bottoms for that one. Okay, never mind. Let's do the sweater. There we go. All right. Okay. There. So she's kind of looking cute and casual, but she's got her new hair, which looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this hair. <laughs> I think it looks so good. You can see kind of her red eyelashes, which is kind of cool. Um, she looks adorable. Thank you. I think so. Uh, let's put you to, what time do you work at? She does, she's a school teacher. She probably works soon. Um, yeah, she needs to head off to work. Uh-oh, this is kind of the glitch, um, that we were getting. So, it seems to make her think. Let's walk to work. There we go. Yeah, so she's a school teacher. Um, but yeah, this, this is like, I ha I've got a little bit of a glitch because of a mod that makes sure that time doesn't, um, restart whenever you come back to your lot. Uh, but I think because we got married on a date, I've, I've like messed up the game now. <laughs> She's vomited, I think in every single toilet. These two are vomited in, this one's vomited in, there's like not a clean toilet, so... Daniela, I'm sorry, but you're probably going to have to clean one of these so that you can use the toilet. You're not going to be able to wait for the maid, and then you can go to sleep. 
And how are you doing? Getting close to that body skill point. It'd be great if we could just grab that. Perfect. Okay, and let's put you to bed. Yeah, see, it's gonna think they're out of the house for 63 hours. <laughs> Whoa, what did I do? Oopsies. <laughs> let's put this back. <laughs> I accidentally hit the Windows key on my keyboard. Sorry about that. But you can see my boring background. My sister was like, you really need to put a photo on your background. Community time mod. Yes, that's the one that I have. <laughs> I almost feel like it's like you just looked in my underwear drawer or something. <laughs> it's so boring because I don't have any photos in there. So it's a little embarrassing, but... Oh, we've got bills due. Well, bills are not a problem anymore for this household. Uh, and we do want to maybe clean some stuff. Um, if Daniel gets up, I think I'll have him do that. Mary Sue on the way to lunch. Mary Sue trips awkwardly while walking down the stairs and rolls her right ankle. Oh no, the pain isn't too bad. But Mary Sue isn't sure whether she, sh whether she should still take part in the afternoon's charity walk with that ankle. What should she do? She is a dancer, so obviously she should rest her ankle. Um, charity walk is very important among Mary Sue's coworkers. Being absent does not go over well with the crowd in general. Mary Sue's boss in particular. After the walk, Mary Sue was told that she should have been more involved and loses some fitness enthusiasm. Oh, well. That's okay. At least we didn't lose our job. <laughs> it would have been really ruthless if they fired us over not doing a charity walk, though. But, um, okay. You can go to sleep, I think. Let's let the maid... Oh, that's not Kaylin. We have a new maid. Who is this? Remington. Hello, Remington. Um, I would like for Daniel to get up, maybe, and take care of the garden a little bit because it's looking pretty sad. Uh, Angela, spare day for the high school is approaching and everyone is expected to participate, uh, even teachers. However, things aren't so simple for Angela, who is up for evaluation for the school board on the same day. It's one thing to be spirited on a normal day with face paint and a crazy outfit, and another thing entirely when paint and a crazy outfit may cost a teacher dearly for not taking evaluation seriously. Angela doesn't want to be criticized for lack of school spirit, but she would also like to keep progressing as an educator. What should she do? That is a tough one. If it were me, I would dress for spirit day. I feel like Angela is a little bit more serious. And she wouldn't possibly choose to wear normal clothes. I'm not really too sure. Hello, Eretics. How are you doing? You have a pic of a sloth as your background. Oh, that's way better than mine. <laughs> mine is just the windows. <laughs> like, that's all. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful evening, Eretics. Welcome in. I uh, can't complain. Nice. Jazz M. Cal, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, bringing the cozy to you. Oh, that's so sweet. How is everyone doing? How are you tonight? How was the raid? Aw, thank you so much for the follow, Grotty Dotty. Welcome in. Um, let me just, hang on, sorry, I, I switched my setup and I'm like, I don't know where to go to switch scenes. How's everybody doing today? My name is Mo and I play Sims. Today we are playing Sims 2. We also play some Life is Strange. Uh, can we get, um, a, oh, we got a shout out. Perfect. You were playing Sims 2 as well. What were you doing in Sims 2 tonight? Uh, passing the love over to another Sims 2 streamer. Thank you so much. Uh, so there are lots of great Sims 2 streamers around. It is wonderful to meet you. I will definitely have to go check out your stream. What were you doing in Sims 2? I would love to hear all about it. Um, and so today we are doing um, a Pleasant View rotation. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, I hope you had a good night. Um, we are doing our Pleasant View rotation. So... How we've been playing Pleasant View is every Monday at 7 a.m. we switch uh, which family that we're playing. So today we are with the Pleasants. Now we have done a few weeks of Pleasantville so far. So we've had quite a bit happen in the neighborhood. Um, so with the Pleasants right now, Angela is a school teacher. So I was just trying to decide if we should wear normal clothes or dress for Spirit Day. Uh, you're playing a custom hood called Dougler Valley. Lots of drama and chaos. Ooh, that's exactly what I like to see. You love Pleasantville. I love Pleasantville as well. We are relatively um, new to Sims 2. Well, I'm not new. I used to play Sims 2 all the time growing up. 
But um, I have only been playing Pleasant View on stream for, we can't really remember when I started. I think it's been a few months now. Um, so we're just starting to uh, explore the world of mods because of course, when I used to play Sims 2, I still had dial up internet and my parents wouldn't let me on the internet at all, um, unless I had to do homework. So I have never played with mods before. Um, but that sounds like a lot of fun. And yes, yeah, Stranger brought a raid over as well. Stranger than some fiction. So thank you so much for joining everyone. And of course, if you need to de-stream, you should prioritize yourself. Take care of yourself first. Um, Daniel, let's just do a little bit more gardening, please. Let's pull some weeds. Uh, really what they need is a gardener more than a maid, I think. Um, so yeah, we're quite a ways into our, um, playthrough. So Daniel is an elder. Oh, is he scared of the dogs? <laughs> Why are they just fighting on our lawn? Okay, let's take, let's pull these weeds back here then. Um, Daniel is an elder. Uh, Mary Sue and Daniel don't necessarily get along. Oh, and he just hates Dustin. Um, so Mary Sue did catch Daniel cheating with um, Kaylin, which was unfortunate. Um, and... So she has a bit of a grudge against him. It doesn't stop them from woohooing, though. We just caught them woohooing not that long ago. Meanwhile, uh, Mary Sue had an affair with Cassandra Goth. Cassandra Goth ended up having a talk with Mary Sue and being like, look, either leave your husband or I'm moving on. Because poor Cassandra Goth has had a bit of a rough time in love in our neighborhood playthrough. What with being left at the altar by dawn. Uh, hate to raid and ram, but gonna de-stream. No worries at all. I Thank you so much again for dropping in. It was lovely to meet you. I will check you out soon. Um, and I hope that you take good care. And thank you so much for the lurk as well. Have a good night. Um, so yeah. Uh, Cassandra is now happily married and settled down with um, a townie. Uh, meanwhile, Mary Sue is just focusing on her career, so she does want to become a world-class ballet dancer. She had absolutely no fitness skill when we started, but we're having her focus on that. For whatever reason, she doesn't seem too keen on leaving Daniel or um, kind of their household situation. Daniel wants, actually, I to get, like back together in a way with Mary Sue. He still has a crush on her again now. Um, he has a few other loves and a few other woohoos. He is a romance sim, so he's like probably going to keep working some of some of these sims. But um, but I don't think that like because he's quite advanced in age, I don't know that we will be able to make his lifetime aspiration come true, which is become a professional party guest. He did switch careers though, so he is in the right career right now. Um, so that's what we're doing with him. Meanwhile, we sent Angela and Lilith to university together. Um, Angela moved back in with her parents after because she was quite worried about them. Um, she got engaged to Dustin actually when they were in high school. And the reason she did that is because Daniel absolutely hates Dustin and is like so mean to him all the time. And because she's like the favorite golden child, I think she really felt that if she got engaged to Dustin, her father would be much more likely to accept him. That didn't happen. Um, meanwhile, Lilith has a great relationship going with Dirk. Um, they got pregnant, accidentally pregnant as soon as she was done university and had some twins. Uh, so because she wasn't too sure exactly what to do with her life, she didn't want to get outshone by her sister. So she did end up sort of eloping with Dustin, uh, the other day. Um, and then they came home and I wasn't planning on getting them pregnant, but I guess that she really, really is, um, worried that Lilith is just leaving her behind. So these two went and got pregnant in their parents' bed right at the beginning of stream. Again, unplanned. They did it on their own, uh, with ACR, so... Um, so yeah, it looks like they probably have a baby on the way. She hasn't popped yet, although she very well could by the time she gets home from work. Uh, and I'm just trying to get Daniel to take care of the gardens a little bit because like nobody does and, uh, and their gardens are trash. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We just kind of, we try to give our Sims good lives. They stir up their own drama, of course, as always, no matter how hard we try. Um, especially poor Cassandra. She really had a rough go of it. So, uh, so we will play until Monday. Uh, so we're just kind of starting the week with these ones. Um, next up will be the goths. So we'll see if we have time to check in on the goths tonight. 
we do need to move Cassandra Goth and her wife um, into their own place. That's a little bit of part of the plan. But yeah. So if anyone wants to see anything specific happen. By the way, I'm, I do have some alarms set. Um, in case anybody's wondering, I should probably set up a command for this. Um, but I do take a couple of breaks because one of my cats is diabetic. So I have to give him insulin at one point in the night. I also have to feed them uh, before he gets his insulin. So my feeder timer will come up in about 20 minutes. Um, and then an hour later is when I do the insulin. So uh, Elizabeth Pleasant is no longer family fam. Uh, family friend. This is uh, one of the twins that Lilith had. So I guess I guess she's just unfriended us. It's a bold move for a toddler to be honest, but I really want to redo these bathrooms because I don't like having bathtubs. And why do they have like a tiki tub? I don't really understand this. Uh, maybe I'll just do that right now. Let's just, uh, sorry, Dustin, to cut your singing short there. It was beautiful. But I do want to get, like, some nice, nice shower and stuff in here. There, that's good. Um, actually, wait. Let me actually pick the color. I like the red shower curtain, actually, but I think I will pick the, like, just all white tub. Yeah, there we go. This will come in handy also with a toddler. And then maybe we can get, like a little bit of a nicer like more modern looking sink if we have one maybe this one at least matches the bathroom a little bit better and then uh let's pick a nicer mirror as well so one thing i didn't i haven't really downloaded too much of yet is um like cc objects there's a few there's definitely a few things, um, mostly holiday things. I think I ho downloaded like a holiday package or something. Yeah, there's a lot of holiday stuff, but I haven't really dabbled too much in like build by CC for Sims 2 yet. It's coming though, trust me. <sighs> I will not stay away for long. And as soon as I get started, <laughs> as soon as I get started my, I will break this computer. I will fill my terabyte drive with CC for Sims 2. It's only a matter of time. Let's put some nice flowers in there. Um, and then what else? Can we put some slightly different maybe tile on the wall? Just something a little bit more, a little bit nicer looking. Get the tile here. Not that it isn't nice, but you know what I mean. I use this one in every bathroom, but I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> and some floor tiles as well. What can we do? Maybe just white or... I guess that's fine. All right. And then maybe what we can do also just to make it a little bit nicer is get some nice like sconces on the wall. Um, oh, and I got a save reminder, which is good. Uh, does this come with like different colors? Do something like this there we go and I think that's nice and then maybe we can do one more plant here that's a really nice plant for a bathroom maybe do a tree I actually think I'll pull this into here yeah and um, a little rug will be nice also uh, there we go. Okay. That's good. Do a quick save. Hello, Jude. How are you doing tonight? Welcome in. Ooh, I have to grab a charger. I'll be right back.
My charger was right here all along. I just need to take your... Um, oh, wrong cord. There we go. I almost died. <laughs> uh, I cleaned my floors and I have my thick woolly socks on because, so I'm in Canada and it snowed last weekend um, because winter is coming. And it decided to remind us that um, it when it arrives, it will be here for like six months uh, where I live. We get very long winters. So, uh, so I have my thick woolly socks on and I just like slipped and almost face planted on the floor when I was running to get my charger. There we go. Welcome in, dude. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. We're doing some Sims 2. Um, you don't really have to worry about raking the leaves, to be honest. Um, playing our Pleasant View rotation. Uh, we have got the Pleasants, so, um, we've got, uh, we've got Dustin and Angela who got married and, um, just went ahead and, uh, got themselves pregnant also. I don't know if she's gonna come home for, for a few days because of, again, this, like, broken mod. I hope that it doesn't like corrupt this save or anything. I might need to remove the mod for a little bit. Um, you can take a little bath and then go to Hello, sleep. Soon, uh, he loves this mic. <laughs> yeah, Angel's a little bit broken. So no, it was 27 Celsius in central Minnesota. Yes, we definitely got snow. It was tragic over and it was Thanksgiving weekend in Canada as well. Our Thanksgiving is much earlier, I know, than in the States. Uh, Plum and Dust, so glad I found your channel. How uh, often do you stream? Oh, it's so nice to see you here. Oh, sorry, not Minnesota, Mississippi. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Eretics. I don't know my states yet. Um, I stream three nights a week. Um, right now we're doing four because we're also doing Life is Strange. Uh, but we have the final episode of Life is Strange coming up on Friday. So if you took like a, take a look at my Twitch schedule, I stream every, uh, whenever I stream, I stream at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, and, uh, and the days can vary, so I try to keep it updated. You can also check on Twitter, um, or join the Discord, because I post my schedule every Monday. So, uh, but yeah, we, so we're streaming tonight, we're streaming Thursday, so in two nights. Um, Friday is Life is Strange, and then Sunday. So, um, four days this week, but we will probably go back to three for next week. Um, and I also am starting to, I'm just starting to post, um, content to YouTube as well. So I'm going to be going back through our Pleasant View series because I have everything on there as unlisted, but I am going to release it so that people can watch the Pleasant View series, um, and see where all of our Sims have come. So I don't know if you're a YouTube watcher as well, but if you check back, I will make sure to share some links when, when that starts going up as well. So, so yeah. Uh, you'll need to work that out uh, in the time. You're in Scotland. Definitely will be watching more. Oh, welcome from Scotland. I have never been to Scotland. I've always wanted to go. I was supposed to go to Scotland, um, but my friend really wanted us to visit Galway when we were in Ireland. So we ended up um, having to, we didn't have time to go to Scotland in the end, but I met a lot of Scots when I was in Ireland and they were very, very nice and very hard to like, the accent is tricky when they talk fast. <laughs> I noticed like when when they were talking fast and I think they also put it up like the Scots that we met they like played it up a bit too just for a bit of fun but very very friendly I had a lot of great drinks with folks from Scotland when I was there so one day I'll make it I really want to um same view yeah Omega I know it was warm for you you were saying don't worry I still thought Stephen Harper was Prime Minister of Canada until last year no he's not been uh He's not been prime minister for a number of years now. <laughs> so, um, I guess though we've only had one prime minister since, so. Uh, I love Scots in Ireland and Irish in Scotland. Nice. Aw, that's so lovely. It's so fun to meet you. I love meeting people from all over. So, one day, one day I will make it to Scotland. It definitely seems like a magical place, so. Uh, okay. You basically should be at work, no? 
Why didn't he go to work? Is that because of my... I think that's because of my glitch that I'm having that he didn't go to work. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on them and manually send them to work. Yeah, everyone makes mistakes, but don't make it again. At least for him, we do, I believe, have the ability to beg for our... Oh, we don't yet. Okay, we're close to having the ability to beg for our job. So I don't want him to lose it because he's doing really well. And this is also his aspiration to become a criminal mastermind. So we do need to keep him. We do need to keep him on track in there. She also, her career is also her aspiration. We've got a lot of um, career oriented Sims in uh, the Pleasant family. A lot of them, their aspirations have to do with uh, with their jobs. So, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep an eye and make sure that these all, these folks all get to work. Maybe we do have his car, so I could put it out. Um, so, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for the poster check. Is it still Justin Trudeau? It is, yes, it is still Justin Trudeau at the moment. Um, I don't know when our next election is coming up, but it's probably coming up in the next year or two, I would imagine, because, wait, no, we just had one, actually. Uh, yeah, we just had an election, so, but yeah, it is Justin Trudeau. I think we had one in the fall, so, and that was a surprise election, like, it wasn't a planned one, so. But yeah, Stephen Harper, I think, was, um, really good at piano. <laughs> one of my friends was, uh, knew him quite well, and, um, in university, and she used to play piano, like, she used to go to his house and they would play piano together and she'd show me videos and stuff. So, fun fact about Stephen Harper. I've never met him, though. I don't think I've ever met a prime minister. If I could sit down and have dinner with one, I would probably try to meet Jean Chrétien. I really liked him. <laughs> he was... He's the... He was... Prime Minister when I was like a young child. <laughs> but I still remember him and his leadership. So just goes to tell you if I was like, I don't know how old, nine or something, and he made an impact on me, that's quite something. So I don't know if any of you would would know if you hadn't lived here. I don't know why I'm making Daniel clean up. He's not really the type. Okay, let's go pee. Um, and then he's dancing. Um, what else do you need for your job? So we're going to have to work on his creativity a little bit. They really like to sing. So I guess we'll do that. I try to zoom out a little bit because it's quite Whoa. atrocious to me, <laughs> the singing. But... Um, <laughs> We'll let him sing a little bit. Daniel missed work today. Oh my gosh, nobody is going to work right now. He didn't work today. Uh, oh no, he did. He did work. The, this, this glitch is causing me issues. <laughs> we need to make sure that everyone can beg for their job because I don't want anyone losing their jobs. All right, let's save. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... All my Sims that are at work are just not coming home right now. And they're not going to come home for like 60 hours. So I don't really know what to do. Maybe I'll save and um, if things go awry, we might have to just switch families. We can jump in on the goth until I can get this sorted. Yeah, see it says Angela Broke is running errands. These two are still at work. How late does she work? She's been at work forever. Yeah, like, she should be home. She's about to die. Look at her needs. How do I get her home? No. No, Mary Sue's gonna die. She's literally gonna die. She's so close to being an elder, too. Okay. I definitely think this is because of my mod that's installed, so... I don't know if we can keep playing the Pleasants for now. I, I'm going to have to remove the mod, I think. So, but it should only affect this household. So I think what we'll do is we'll save. We'll save our progress. And let's go check in on the Goths. 
<laughs> so we're changing the plan. It's what we gotta do. Uh, what we gotta do when the game um, game decides to get creative on us, we get we also can get creative. Um, so. So yeah, we've got over here, uh, this is where Lilith lives with uh, Dreamboat Dirk and their twins that they recently had, who are now toddlers. Don Lothario and Nina live together, um, just as roommates, uh, kind of like friends with benefits situation. They both want to woohoo 20 sims, so they're kind of working on that together. The Dreamers, so Brandybrook and uh, Darren Dreamer ended up actually really hitting it off and getting married. These are Brandy's two other sons, and now they have twins together who are just young toddlers. Um, and then who else do we have? Those are the oldies and the burbs that we're not really playing. And then, yes, we did bring um, uh, Dirk's mom back to life. He wished for her to come back to life on a genie. She came back as a zombie, so she lives over there. Um, so yeah, the other family that we play are the Goths, so we can jump in. I will give you an update, as you will see on the screen right now. Mordemir has passed on. He passed of old age. Um, he did live a good, long life. Um, a very fruitful life. We did manage to complete his aspiration, so he does have a platinum tombstone. Um, he wanted to max every skill, and we were able to do that for him which was great. Um, he also did marry Dina Caliente. And they had a baby who's uh, little Tina here. So she is Mortimer's child. She's Cassandra's half-sister. Um, Cassandra, meanwhile, had a bunch of um, unlucky love situations, uh, but finally was able to settle down, settle down with Kitty, Kitty Goth. So these two got married recently. Um, and I think I got a mod so that they can get pregnant. That was kind of what we had wanted to do. Alexander is a teen. Right now he's a popularity sim. We don't know if we're going to keep him as that. But he basically likes playing his guitar and working out in his room. Um, he's got a very teen room, which is good. Uh, and then you'll notice there's a baby in the household. This is not Cassandra Goth's baby. This is actually... Dina's baby that she put on the ground. So what we did with um, her, what we did with Dina is after Mortimer passed, we had noticed that she actually quite enjoyed being a mother and we thought she was maybe a bit of, more of a family sim that we might not have kind of more than we originally realized. So we ended up re-rolling her want to be a family sim. Um, what's her lifetime aspiration? She wants to graduate three kids from college. And she immediately, as soon as Mordemir passed, rolled the wand to have another baby. So what did we do? We took a look at her relationships. And who did she have handy that she had romance with but Don Lothario? So she ended up <laughs> not really telling him. She just went ahead and got pregnant with his child. She thought, he doesn't need to know. Um, I want a mom and I want to be a mom still. I need to have at least three kids. I don't really care who I have the babies with. So I will just um, go ahead, harvest his seed, plant it in my womb. Um, and here we are. That's how, um, that's how Lena was born. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Um, Cassandra does also want to, uh, we wanted her to get pregnant. She doesn't necessarily have that want right now, but it's something that we wanted for her. Um, oh, right. We lost Kitty's job last time. We lost Kitty's job on a bad chance card, uh, which was a little bit awkward and she's a fortune sim, but she does want to become a criminal mastermind. So we might look into doing that for her. Maybe through Dustin, she can get some connections to get started in that career path. Uh, did I not? I thought I had deleted this door to to the bathroom. I didn't like that there was. Um, I don't. I don't really believe in having two doors into a bathroom. Kind of stresses me out. So I'm just gonna delete that. My siblings, they have they have a house that has a door like this, like a pass through, um, and I I I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in it. I don't think that doors, bathrooms should have two doors. My bathroom in the basement also has two doors. So, but I don't use that bathroom. Obviously. Two doors, I'm not going to use it. Okay, so let's clean up a little bit. I agree with your belief system. Thanks, Flood. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know whose idea that was, but um, well, she's going to school, so that's a good sign. Look at how their house is <gasps> really messy. <laughs> we do have a butler, so um, I believe a butler will show up. Oh, did I already? Yeah, I think I might have already gotten Cassandra pregnant when I was testing the mod. I think I did get her pregnant because I was worried I would forget how to do it. Um, let's change her parents. So she's married now. She had kind of grown her hair out and given herself this makeover um, when she was left at the altar. But now that she um, is married, I think we can give her a new look as well. Maybe we can give her a little bit more of a... I like her, like, thick hair and everything, but maybe we can get do something that's just, like, a little bit more mature looking or something like that. Maybe something like this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Should we do this? Wait, I love this hair, and it looks so good on her. Oh, it is time for me to feed the kitties. So let me just, there we go. So I will be right back. I'm going to go grab them some food. It will only take me a couple minutes. Doesn't take me long. Um, and then we will finalize Cassandra Goth look. So I will be back. All right, I'm back. I got some Twix. Um, I made the fatal error of buying Halloween candy. Um, however many weeks it is away from Halloween. <laughs> and I was like, this is not going to last. It has to. There's like 100 pieces of candy in the box. So, um, but I thought cats get a snack, I get a snack. Mm. I don't think, do you have Twix in the U.S.? They're really good. <laughs> Pardon my chewing. Okay. Let's give Cassandra the CC eyes. And I do have more makeup options now. Hmm. So yeah, I think we can line things up a little bit and then maybe give her a shinier lipstick or something. Flood, you love Twix. Uh, I miss the peanut butter Twix from my childhood. I don't think they make that type anymore. I don't know. I don't think that there's a peanut butter type anymore either, actually. But I vaguely remember, I have a vague memory of this, of peanut butter Twix. So, yeah, it is unfortunate. It definitely, I could, even just chewing it right now, I'm imagining it with peanut butter. And I do think that that would be really amazing. <laughs> so, but yeah. I uh, I tried to get um, Halloween candy that honestly I'd be less likely to eat. Oh, I think she kind of had this one, didn't she? Um, but uh, chocolate is chocolate, so... I'm going to, of course, eat it. I think I'll just do, like, something neutral looking. Not too pink. I don't want anything too pink. Maybe something like that. Um, And then maybe we can, like, tone down this blush a little bit or something. Do something like that, maybe. Maybe we shouldn't do eyeshadow. Yeah. Let's do no eyeshadow. There we go. This is quite a different look for her. But I think it's cute and, oh, she thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> I never know when they laugh at their looks if that's, like, a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but why don't you come use the toilet? Luckily, we've got tons of baby stuff in this house because Dina just has had so many babies recently. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, okay. These two are just chatting and hanging out. Um, that's why our house is still trash. <laughs> but I guess part of a butler's job can definitely be um, keeping everyone company. Oh, and he's checking on the baby too. Uh, nice. Nice of you. Um, all right. Let's see. Now, I use a specific computer to buy... Let's get uh, let's get a little laptop or something. So I think the question with this family is, what do we want to do? 
Um, Cassandra and Kitty probably do need their own place, I'm guessing. Or do we have Dina move out and get her own place? Because this is like the goth house. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mortimer put in his will that um, the house goes to his kids versus to Dina. I'm sure Dina would get tons of money, but she might not, she might not get the house. So maybe Cassandra takes over this house. I don't know. What do we think? Mm. And let's also look at some new clothing. And then for Kitty, we'll get you some new, a new hair as well. This might be the hair she's always had. I don't know if we've changed her hair at all. All right. I'm done my Twix. I apologize for the eating sounds. I just couldn't resist the candy. I had, um, Big Red came over the weekend. <laughs> and I've been having a really huge sweet tooth ever since. Uh, okay, let's give her also, maybe we can give her like the lighter brown, brown eyes, just to make things a little bit different. Now she does wear a lot more makeup. Probably because of her job that we got her fired from. Ooh, I like this, this blue eyeshadow. Let's do that. And then... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do like a neutral lip. And then for hair... Uh, what can we do? She's so pretty. Um, uh, oh, that was her hair, yeah. I don't think we've ever changed her hair, so she definitely deserves to get some new hair, I think. Uh, our cycles sync from afar. That's true friendship. Oh my gosh, yours ended today, Omega. Yeah, you know what's interesting? So I definitely did sync with you all because mine was a week late. And I, well, I can be late for sure, but um, I'm usually pretty like on like one or two days kind of thing. But to be a whole week late, that hasn't happened to me in a little while. So I think I did sync up with you all. <laughs> Oh, I like this. Oh my gosh, she looks like very high fashion with her cheekbones and this hair. <gasps> okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love this hair on her. It looks so good. She definitely looks very high fashion and then Cassandra is like very cute looking. So I think Cassandra can maybe buy them both some new outfits. I'm going to take a look through here and see what we've got. Now, for for Kitty, I think she would wear something like, ooh, this is like um, Posh Spice. I could see her wearing like a Posh Spice outfit. Oh, maybe with the red boots. Um, Love this for us. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely synced up. Um, I decided to join you all. Of course, true friendship. So now you're all going to know if I'm in a bad mood and you're in a bad mood too. <laughs> that that's what's going. Yeah, it literally came immediately as soon as I ended um, Friday's stream. And I was like, this is why I was so grumpy. I mean, obviously the technical issues, there was a lot going on that night. But um, definitely that didn't help. I get I get pretty strong PMS. Um, it's pretty ruthless. Your cycle is every 33 days, so I'll be unsynced next month. Okay, okay. Well, I can go, I can go, I can go anywhere from 29 to 35. Um, but I, I've been pretty close to 30 days every, like the last two years, I would say. Um... Whoa, these are nice. I don't know what to do for Cassandra. Some of these are a little bit too, like she's a cop, right? How does a cop dress when they're not copping? 
when they're not like on the streets, you know, arresting criminals. Whoa, wait a second. She's a cop and her girlfriend wants to be a criminal mastermind. <gasps> wait, that's drama. That's an interesting combination, actually. Hmm. Are we going to have to make something of that? I don't know. We might have to. Uh, we could do these like very 2000s outfit that I absolutely love. We could do something like that. Drama or perfect combo. Maybe, maybe they, one of them ends up either infiltrating the police force or the criminal um, enterprise and they bring it down from within or maybe they both do it to each other or maybe they just want to run the town they want to make sure they own the cops and the criminal situation in the town i don't know if i'm getting like a very specific vibe what about something like this mm, i don't know i don't know if i like it no i don't nothing is giving me nothing is screaming cassandra to me maybe this actually what about this? I'm going to I'm going to add it to the cart. This is like I don't know why I kind of think of her. It's not it's not goth. Like what is the next step of goth like as you get older? It's a little bit like um like dark academia kind of. Maybe something like this too. You're thinking jeans for an off-duty cop? Okay, jeans, 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 jeans. Jeans. Hmm. Or we could just do something like this that's a little bit more cozy, maybe. Uh, these are all so 2000s. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Uh, off duty cop vibes. Hmm. Well, maybe something like this. I'll put that in the cart. Although it's like a little bit like warm maybe for every day. Uh, okay, what do we have in the cart again? Okay, let's get rid of this because we're going to give Kitty the one with the red shoes. Okay, let's get let's get all of these and then we can just figure it out as we plan her outfit. So plan every day. Oh my gosh, Dawn is still paying child support <laughs> for Lena. Whoopsies. He better start using protection. He doesn't know Dina still needs one more kid, you know? She might, she might come for, she might come for Dawn's. Um, yeah, these were the three options. Maybe we'll do this one, just something like cozy and casual for now. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Um, and Cassandra, do you need anything for work? What does she want to do? She wants to woohoo in bed. Okay. She's cleaning, even though we have a butler. Very kind of you. Uh, let's plan your everyday outfit, Kitty. We're going to get you out of this dress, and we're going to... Oh, she's not even in her dress right now. But we're definitely going to give you um, a much cooler dress, I think. Oh, we better check on these fish so that they don't die again. Let's clean and feed the fish. Aw, these two are going to be so cute together. Okay, and then for you, we got this. Yes, I love it. Uh, let's change into it. I'm getting, like, posh spice vibes, which I love. This haircut looks so chic on her. All right. Um, now, she's got, like, a gazillion friends, if I remember. Yeah. Uh, we should probably try and maintain some of these friendships, so let's have her call. Call a Sam. 
Um, was she about to woohoo with Dina? I think she was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what she was about to do. What do you want to do? Reach cleaning level one. Okay. Um, oh, she actually wants to get a job, too. Get a job in the music. I could, I could see her being a DJ. Um, let's get some food. Now, when these two are home, we can also see what looks we have for them. I hope somebody cleans up that trash soon. Like, there's a dog eating it. That's a little gross. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, we we need help. We need the we need the butler to get off the video games. Come on. <laughs> oh, Cassandra's not feeling good. Okay, let's see. Who can we... Uh, Erica, why don't you chat? We just want to try and maintain some of the friendships. Because it will definitely help with um, careers, I think. Uh, get whatever that is out. Um, and then let's make sure that you're taking care of your needs, Cassandra. Can this butler, like, get to, get to work? Can I get him to... Door policy. Um... Do we need to influence him to clean or something? I think he got trapped, like, doing the garden. Sometimes that happens. Um, and then he, like, can't do anything else. What is that, by the way? I'm pretty sure it's burnt. I think it's burnt pork chops. But we don't want it to go to waste. So, when you're done chatting, why don't you come grab some of these toaster pastries that are on the floor? Um, just waiting to be grabbed. Uh, I don't want to change Dina's hairstyle. Um, it feels very, uh, iconic, but I do want to give her the new contacts that we have. I don't think she has them yet, and we can also change her makeup. Sorry, this is a lot of, um, a lot of cast, but we'll do it fast. We'll do it very fast. I love, like, um, one thing I remember about Sims 2 that I, I like, is much more noticeable now, but I still remember thinking it was weird as a kid, is that, um, like, you get these random, like, I don't know what this is. Is it high quality or is it low quality? Like, it's like a 2D, 3D, I don't know. You definitely know that it's not real, but it also, like, looks way nicer than some of the other stuff. I don't know how else to explain it. Yeah, let's give you, like, your nice pink lipstick, but in a glossier. There we go. And then we could also maybe give you some really cool eyeshadow. Maybe, like, a gold color or something. Yeah. Or silver? No. Let's do this one. There you go. Um... Okay, there we go. There you are. I don't. I didn't see if she likes her new look. We didn't change too much though, so hopefully she does. Now she wants a cleaning skill point. I think I'm just gonna get her to study cleaning because otherwise it takes so long for them to get it. So let's have you do that. Oh wait, actually let's have you check on your baby first. Um, a baby needs a diaper change. So come change her diaper. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. How are you? Um, and then Cassandra, what are you off to do? Relax on the bed. Okay, these two are probably going to woohoo, which is fine with me. They can do their thing. Um, did you not go change the baby's diaper? Can you come do that, please? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, not you, sorry. Oh my gosh, now I've interrupted them. Oh no, I didn't mean to. Go back to it. Let's, uh, woohoo again. Let's try that again. Uh, but Dina, can you please change, uh, Lena's diaper? And now Alexander is back from school. Let's have him also use some acne cream. Change his appearance. Wow, that baby's crying so loud. <laughs> Let me just back up a little bit. Let me make sure the game sounds not too loud for you all. Turn it down a little. There we go. Um, okay. Yeah, she's changing. 
baby's diaper. So let's see, anything? <gasps> this makes me think of, what's the boyfriend's name is Princess Diaries? Um, the one that like fixes cars and plays guitar. That is what I'm getting from this. That's what this is giving. Um, which I'm into, to be honest. This is very cute. Um, but I'm not getting Alexander vibes. Ooh, this is very, like, emo. Um. Hmm. Why don't we just do... S oh, that's so spiky. We could do, like, something with a hat with him. He is, like, playing guitar, so maybe we give him a little bit more of, like, an... Um, like an artsy sort of alternative look. Maybe he starts like growing. He might not have a lot of facial hair yet because he's still young, but I, maybe he starts like trying to grow it out a little bit more. Um, and then where are his eyebrows? And then uh, let's give him the lighter brown eyes, I believe, for him. And I want to. I'm tempted to give him a little bit of eyeliner. And I like that. And if I had um, something that wasn't glossy, maybe I could, I wouldn't mind changing the color of his lips a little bit. Uh, I don't necessarily want anything glossy though. I just feel like his lips look a little like the flat or something. But I could see him kind of, I don't necessarily want it to like look like heavily lined, like done lips. I just want something light, like maybe something like that. I kind of like the eyeliner. Yeah, I think he might start getting a little bit of like alternative vibes. He's into it. He likes it. Um, and he'll keep like playing his music, but he needs to, he needs to keep like trying to get rid of his acne though. Um... Use acne cream. Did we do that already? And I think he'll just keep focusing on music and uh, and maybe like trying to make like different kinds of friends or something. He's just kind of trying to, I think he's trying to find his own thing. Um, so you can study cleaning. And then uh, can you come, come by yourself? Uh, let's see if we can find, uh, oh, <laughs> never mind, Dina's there. I want to see if we can find, he wants to sneak out with a shell, go out with a shell. Oh my gosh, let's lock some of these. I think we should, we should start sneaking out with him. So I believe to sneak out, you have to use the phone, but it has to be after 10 p.m. So we'll be able to sneak him out, I'm sure. Uh, we just have to make sure that it is at the right time of day. I really hope that I can fix the Pleasants. I don't know what I did. <laughs> uh, I think getting married while we were out was a mistake. It was a fatal error. Hi, cutie. Oh, you trying to get on my lap? That way you're crying? Uh, booyah, this week was amazing. Let's make next week more of the same. Tina is so cute. She's definitely like <laughs> the cutest in this family, I think. She's so outgoing and nice. And she's super happy about her grades. Nice. Good job. She's coming to shore, mom. <laughs> she's like, excuse me, sweetie. I'm just, I'm just studying cleaning. Uh, what does she want? She wants to reach logic level one. I do think that we know Mortimer would want her to be in private school. Come do your homework. Oh, yeah, and then she really needs to go to the bathroom. So she can definitely do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're, they're busy. We'll, we'll leave them to it. Booyah, this week was amazing. Let's make next week more of the same. We definitely will. I really want to get him his, like, alternative style clothing. But maybe maybe this is a sign that I need to take a little bit of a break from, from being in cast all the time. Does she have any friends, like, her age? 
There's a, she knows a couple of kids. Maybe we should start phoning them. Hey, Kitty, are we still friends? How are things going, Alexander? Okay, so basically some of our Sims need to catch up with their friends. Uh, let's have you first come call a Sim. I didn't even realize they could leave the phone off the hook like this. <laughs> they just left it there. Um, did I just see that? Cheer. Oh, she wants to cheer. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's have him call his friend so that he doesn't lose that friendship. Um, so I think it was Ishel. Uh, we are probably going to sneak out later today anyways, but we will chat with you for a little bit. Uh, a couple of his friends don't have phones, so it's a bit tough to, uh, to keep them in touch. Oh, you have a friend here. You two should play. Go play with your friend. Oh, and the butler made us dinner, which is good. <laughs> uh, gotta head out. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you so much for dropping in, Flood. I hope you also have a wonderful evening. It's always lovely to see you. Um, have a nice evening. We'll see you next time. Good luck catching up on the rest of Life is Strange. We will definitely be having a great stream on Friday. I can feel it. Look at this kid's face. He looks very surprised. Um, talk, let's hang out. Can you two hang out a little bit? Yeah. Just make a friend. I think that's nice. Dina got her cleaning skill point. That's good. Um, Cassandra hasn't popped yet, but she's coming to eat some salad. Her needs are a little bit rough, I think. So she definitely needs that. What's Kitty doing? Oh, checking out herself in the mirror. I don't know what it is that makes her able to do that. Is it because she's mean? Or outgoing? I'm not sure why she can do that. Sweetie, where are you going? Where are you going? You can't climb on my desk. You're cute, but you gotta stay in my lap, okay? Or you can go on the tower. Um, okay, so these two are chatting. She also needs to um, call some friends that she's neglecting. Um, I want you to come shop online. I don't know that I actually have very many teen clothes, but I want to try and get them a, a look that kind of goes with my clothing every day. <gasps> Kitty stretch. Ooh, thank you so much for the stretch redemption, Eretics. Do a nice stretch and kitty stretch as well. You want to stretch? There we go. She's always stretching. She's got very long limbs. She's a wee cat, but she's got a lot of limb. Uh, I think this is the outfit he already has. Is there something else that would kind of work? Oh, he's got this one. That kind of works. Uh, or something like this. The shirt's a little bit like, I don't know about the tucked in shirt, but this has the vibe that I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for him. We'll try that. I think he's going to go take a nap so that he can be ready to sneak out. So come nap downstairs. Um, Cassandra, your needs are rough. Why are you sleeping in? <laughs> no, you have a bed. Uh, come use the toilet first and take a bath, and then you can come to bed. And this one is your bed. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, so this one's my mod. Okay. Um. All right. Dina, you're doing good. Somebody else is taking care of your baby. Maybe you can eat some food while your baby's being fed. Um, Kitty, you need to go to the bathroom. And you also need to eat something. And then you can probably head to bed. 
Now, we do need to get her a job, I guess. So maybe that's something we can do tomorrow. I haven't really been in a rush. I don't really know why. I just haven't been. Um, and then you can go to the bathroom. I'm glad the butler takes care of the kids, but it'd be great if he also, like, uh, threw out the bottles afterwards. I don't know. It might be nice. <laughs> I think because we hired those other... Like, he, he said to us when we hired the maid and the gardener, like, why are you hiring all these people? You got me. But then he never, like, he can never finish a day's work. And then, right now, he's very much not even trying. He's just playing video games, even though the house is a mess. So, I'm really glad that we hired those other jobs. <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, okay, so we gotta keep an eye on, t on when it will be 10pm so that he can sneak out. Let's put you to bed for now. He can pretend like he's going to bed early. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna have an early night, gonna turn in. Um... But his plan will be, can we get, can we get you like, can you get off so that she can actually play with her friend? I think that would be nice if these two could play together. Oh, so cute. You just hugged her. Oh, I can't believe how late it is. I should be going now. Who's this? Mary? Mary, why are you standing in our house? Who are you? Are you just coming to play video games with my daughter? That's a little weird. Okay. Um. Kitty, can you get something else to eat out of the fridge? Uh, yeah, let's get that. There we go. So you can eat something and then you can go to bed. Come join your wife. Very cute. Uh, Dina, you can probably go to sleep. She loves playing in the bathtub. It's so funny. Um, so in an hour, we need to make sure that he sneaks out. She needs to get her fun up. Why don't you play dolls a little bit? You're distracting the butler right now. Um, get yourself something to eat. Why, is, why are you not in bed? Is, is there like music on in here or something? Let's try again. Go to sleep. I don't know if there's something in here that's keeping her up. There's only the computer, but I don't see anyone on it right now, so she should be able to sleep. There we go. There we go. And then these two should be in bed. Perfect. So she's the only one that's still up. Oh, this is cute though. Look, the butler is playing with her. Wait, I want to get a little photo. Hang on. Oh, how do I? There we go. That's cute. I like that the butlers do interact a lot with the kids. I think that is sweet. Even though I'm, our house is a mess and I would like for it to not be. Um, I still like that they play. Whoa, how did we get so much money? My goodness, that's a lot of money. She wants to win a game against Dina. Um, I'm glad this person is enjoying our food. I have still have no idea who she is. We'll make sure to put that away. Because I think nobody else will. And then we will go to bed. Wait, why is he up? Oh, he's fully rested. Um, okay, we need to sneak out. Oh my gosh, we need to sneak out right now. Call a sim. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It was there. It was there. Call sneak out. Um, I, I feel like Dina wouldn't tell on him. Let's change Lena's diaper. Oh, no. The butler's in her way. <laughs> well, as long as the baby stops crying, I guess we can go back to bed. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I want Alexander to sneak out. Um, so let's call Ashelle. I'll pick you up at 1am. I love um, the rigs that they come to pick them up when they sneak out. They're always like quite impressive. 
So he wants to go out with Ishal and he wants to sneak out with her. He also wants to sneak out with Edward, but we'll start with Ishal for now. Let me do a quick save. Yeah, no, this is good. Alexander kind of gets a little bit neglected. I don't always know what to do with him. I feel like he's just kind of, I think that there's a lot of big personalities in the household. Um, so I'll let him pee in private. There's Mortimer. He's just haunting. Um, there's so many big personalities. I think like Alexander like actually sort of puts himself a little bit in the background. Like he doesn't want to take, be the center of attention um, with everything that's going on. Maybe we do we have time to eat something. You can try. Don't tell a joke. You got to get ready to go. Go here. Come get ready to meet your friend. Your father's ghost might catch you, but nobody else is around, so it should be good. We should be good to get away. Uh, no, go here. I love his little hat look and his, like, scruff that's growing in. Go here. <gasps> Wait, where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh, look. She's just fully in a limo. He's running. He doesn't want to get caught. I like how she's at the front of the limo and he gets in the back. <laughs> That's so funny. Who's that? Simon Crumplebottom. Yeah, get out of here, Alexander. Have a good time. Don't get into too much trouble. Um, okay, Cassandra, I think we'll get up and... Oh, she came to sleep in her mom's bed. That's so cute. Yeah, I don't know who that was, but I would appreciate if you left. Um, the butler's not leaving, which is a little bit unusual. I'll have Cassandra make some cereal for breakfast. Um, and we can use the toilet. <laughs> She's so cute. I wonder how his night out is going. Oh, he's back. What are you doing? Don't, uh, don't use that one. Use this one. Okay, well, I think he had a good time. He still wants to sneak out with Edward as well, so we'll try and do that if we can. Um, Kitty is up. Maybe we should start looking for jobs for her. Um, actually, no. Let's wait for Tina to sleep a little bit more. Uh, Dina can just do her thing. Um, did you make the cereal in the end? Serve breakfast, cereal. Let's try that again. There's definitely space. Uh, what she want to do? Oh, she, it's because these two are all over each other. I'm here just doing math. No worries. Yeah, they're always all over each other. I'm going to let, um, Kitty use this bathroom. And then maybe, Dina, you can change into your everyday clothes. And what what do you want to do? You want to be best friends with Kitty. Interesting. Okay. Well, we can probably make that happen. Um, but for now, why don't you come tidy up a little bit? Tidy up a little bit. Wait. Tidy up. A <laughs> What's going on? Can you clean up, please? Yeah, there we go. Um, you can eat that cereal. That's good. Get ready for your school day. Um, she's up. Let's have her come downstairs. Use the toilet and I want her to change her appearance. Uh, so we do want to make sure that people do go to work. Right. You don't have a job. I forgot. That's my bad. <laughs> Cassandra's the only one that works. Um, she doesn't work today though. So she should be. Her pregnancy should be popping, though. I don't really know why it hasn't yet. Like, she's definitely pre-pregnant. Because she keeps vomiting. So, um, the baby is coming. She just hasn't popped. Okay, and then this cutie. Um, there, we'll give her her eyes. And then, let's see, there's a lot more hair options that I have now. Uh, we could give her some braids. 
Could give her one long braid. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I think I want to do that actually. I don't even really need to see the other hairs. There's a lot of cute options, but I really want to give her that braid. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. There she goes. Let's see what she thinks of it. Yeah, I think she likes it. <laughs> Aw, what a cutie. Um, she wants to get an A-plus report card. I'm pretty sure she's pretty close to that. So, uh, yeah, you can go play the piano. Alexander's not doing too bad, even though he was out all night. He can maybe grab another bowl of cereal before school. Um, Dina, maybe you can start cleaning a little bit. Oh, it's a bathroom party. Let's do a little bit of cleaning. Get your, uh, get your cleaning skill up. Um, what else do we need to clean? I think this toilet cleaned. Anything in the kitchen? Yes, that does. That does. And maybe we can just put that away. All right, Alexander, you're looking great. I love this look for you. Um, we'll give him a little bit more facial hair next time. A school bus for Tina will come in an hour. Cassandra's the day off and Ox's school bus will also come in an hour. Nice. We probably, yeah, we probably do need to try and do, um, a round of the, uh, headmaster. He doesn't want to get busted. <laughs> we'll try not to. Um, Cassandra, since you're up, let's get you ready. You're pretty hungry. You can come use the toilet. Um, get yourself some cereal. Uh, I think I have Dina putting that away, but I, I don't think we'll worry about that just yet. Um, and Kitty, so you need to get a job. Let's have you use the toilet and uh, find a job. So she wants to be in the criminal career. I can totally see it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to try and do for her, I think. She was a professional partier. She was at the top of her career, actually. She has, like, so many skills. Um, but she wants to be a uh, criminal. So her body and charisma will help. I think she'll still need mechanical and creativity. She's got quite a few creativity skill points, but uh, we'll probably keep working on that with her as well as the mechanical skill points. Um, oh, everyone should be off to school. Yep, there's the school bus. Uh, she's heading off to... Yeah, there she goes. She's so cute. I love her. Um, and Dina needs to have one more kid. So, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. She does seem to get along quite well with this butler. So, we could try that. I think, like, Dawn has picked up on the fact that we are trying to, you know, have babies. Um, so I don't think that we're going to be able to pull that one off twice. And I like the idea that Dina just has, like, several kids with several different partners. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's ask him to join. Um, no more jobs today. Okay. So criminal job wasn't available, but that's okay. Um, let's study a bit of mechanical so we can get a little bit of a head start on those skills that we might still need. Um, and then, yeah, I think I'm going to focus on these two a little bit. Um, he gets along great with our kids. Uh, let's talk. No, talk. Um, maybe these two can hang out again. Oh, did we pop? We did. Oh. <gasps> It's official. We have a baby on the way. With a little one on the way, Cassandra's been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. Good job, Cassandra. Nice. That's exciting. We're going to have to tell Kitty. Kitty is over here studying her mechanical skill. Doing a grand old job. But yeah, I think the big question is, what do we do? Who lives where? How do we split up this household? And where does Alexander live? I guess 
technically he would live with Dina. She's his stepmom. But he might feel more comfortable staying with Cassandra Goff. Um, I don't really know. Do we still have music going? Yeah, okay, good. I was about to switch the playlist. There we go. Um, okay. How is these two's relationship? They're not even friends yet. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> uh, oh, we need to pay our bills. Okay. Uh, we also need to check on our baby. So, let's come upstairs and change her diaper. Maybe Cassandra can do the bills. Get mail. Let's do that. Nice. And then we can also feed the baby. Um, feed her. And what else can we do? Uh, cuddle her a little bit. There we go. And then we'll put her back in her crib. Um, Cassandra, where are you putting that mail? Just put it on the floor somewhere. There we go. And you can pay those bills. Thank you. And then you can do whatever you want. You probably need a nap, to be honest. She's looking pretty exhausted, which is fair. Pregnancy is exhausting. Um, why don't you feed the fish? We don't want them dying again. And um, and then you could maybe go sleep a little bit. There we go. Um, okay, so Dina is feeding the baby. Oh, she's so cute. She's got the green eyes. I always wished I had green eyes growing up. If I could have any eye color in the world, it would be green that I would want. Okay, let's keep working on Trent, although he's actually cleaning right now. So maybe, yeah, I guess we'll eat one of the sandwiches that was prepared for us. Um, take advantage of the fact that he's actually doing his job, which is nice. Very kind of him. And then I think we will try and do a principal visit tomorrow for, uh, tonight for Tina. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to try and do. I don't know what we can do food wise because the butler, um, I don't know like if he'll make dinner. It's a little, I don't really know. I feel like we should be able to ask him to cook. But I don't know if we can. Um, yeah, come down. Put away the leftovers. Let's eat another sandwich because we're still hungry. And then you're actually pretty tired too. Why is everyone so tired? Alexander, you need to, I think, go to bed. Yeah, go to sleep for a little bit. And... Um, Dina, let's call the headmaster over. Why is she, is she thinking about adopting? Um, invite the headmaster. She could be thinking about it. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. Oh my God, I actually haven't thought about it. I was kind of so focused on just trying to get rid of um, all the issues that we were encountering. So that's really honestly where I put my energy. And it was um, Canadian Thanksgiving over the weekend. Um, but everyone was sick, but I was still able to, two of my siblings weren't sick and my mom actually drove us all, uh, plates of turkey dinner. So the three of us got together to eat our plates together. The rest of my family all had to eat theirs alone. But, um, yeah, we, we did have our dinner together, but all the rest of the time this weekend, I really focused on, um, I really focused on fixing the stream. Yeah, it was very sweet of her, I thought. I thought it was really nice. Yeah, Dina's not the neatest, but I think she's going to try and make everything nice for the headmaster coming over. Oh, she wants to get to creativity level 7. Do it. Reach logic level 1. Okay, he's asleep. Um, yeah, you can answer the phone now. Her needs are pretty trash. I 
Everyone is so tired. Uh, why are you... Okay. I mean, you can be on the exercise bike if you want. Um, but let's actually take a bath because Headmaster is coming. Um, and... Who's going to... Who can serve dinner? I think we'll have Cassandra serve dinner. Who has the best cooking skill point? I feel like nobody does in this household. Actually, it is Dina. So maybe she... Dina would enlist Cassandra. Be like, do it for your sister. And Dina will make dinner. Unless, of course, it just so happens that... Um, because this always happens with me where we run out of groceries whenever <laughs> we invite the headmaster over. So, but yeah, I will definitely think about a scary game. Um, I will think about what to play. Uh, I know that there were a couple of suggestions that people put last time. And, ev and everyone that gave me a suggestion was like, actually, never mind. <laughs> Please ignore my suggestion. So, um, yeah. <laughs> there, was a, there was a couple folks that said that. Um, can you make your bed? Make bed and then change into every day. You're dressed in every day. You're dressed in every day. Cassandra is just finishing her bath. And she can also use the toilet. So she will be dressed in every day. Dina's dressed in every day. Um, so I'll have her start making the dinner in just a minute. Did she not serve espresso? I wanted her to serve espresso. Um, okay. The headmaster is here. So it is time to get things started. Let's serve some dinner. I guess we'll make spaghetti. Uh, Cor the headmaster has arrived for dinner. Kitty, can you just like put that down and make... Like, I swear I told you to make espresso. I don't know what is going on. Where are you going to put that cup down? Oh my gosh, don't tell me you're going upstairs. Uh, okay, um, Cassandra, don't listen to a joke. Go greet Corey. Kitty, I don't know why you're going upstairs. Um, Alexander, just come play some guitar. Like, please just be out of my way. You're playing piano. That's great. Skilling kids, I feel like, is a great first impression. And we are going to serve. Oh, <gasps> no, we're out of groceries. Okay. Um, okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We can do it. We can, um, delivery. I have no idea where Kitty is going, but I think what I'll do is I'll actually have, um, Dina. Yeah. So don't worry about that. You can clean that up. Dina will serve the espresso. Uh, serve espresso. There we go. Um, and Cassandra's heading over to greet him. Yes, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go here. <gasps> oh, no. A tree is on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, and... Where did Cassandra go? Why is she running over there? Can you not run towards the fire? Just like go here, please. Um, so he's having his espresso, so which is great. Um, okay, well, <laughs> at least Dina's keeping a cool head, everyone else is a little bit chaotic. Um, what is she doing? Can you grab, or we'll let Cassandra grab the food. Um, yeah. Come over here and accept the delivery. Alexander will become an adult in a few days. Only two days left before Tina's birthday. Lena's birthday is only a day away. We're getting a ton of birthdays. Uh, wait. What is going on? Where is he going? That tree is no longer on fire, so I don't know what's going on. Why is the delivery person over there? What is going on? Why am I so bad at 
this. Don't go put that upstairs. Oh. Uh, no. Okay. Well, Kitty. Oh, you're accepting the delivery now? What happened to Cassandra accepting the delivery? You come entertain. Um, come entertain the headmaster. Don't do that. You're going to do it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. We'll let him finish his coffee. Cassandra, you can put the... Um, He's going upstairs also. Dina, go down here uh, because you need to serve dinner. Um, Cassandra, you can come sit here. And you're going to serve dinner spaghetti. A tour of your home would be lovely. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> so I guess we could start up here. Let's go here. Or he's coming down. He's coming down. Okay, let's start down here. Let's go in here. First of all, let's show him the child that um, we're trying to get into private school. See how talented she is on that piano. Wait, get back on the piano. Keep keep practicing. Oh, she's off to do her homework. Even better. Um, let's show the room. He likes it. Nice. Okay, let's go here. Uh, and we will show him the room. Sorry, I keep pausing because I find these tours very stressful. We got our bonus points for the headmaster having coffee. Dina somehow managed to score us some schmooze points as well, which is great. Um, and then let's see, what are the more ornate rooms upstairs? Uh, I feel like Alexandra's got the nicest room. Let's show him her, whoops, sorry, not you, Kitty. Let's show him her room as well. I'll just be like, this is the perfect environment to foster academic achievement. Is he coming? Oh yeah, I think only one Sim can go on the stairs at a time. Really, I think the gardens are quite nice here too. So we could show him the gardens. Show room. He likes it. Can we show him Alexander's room? Um, don't eat just yet. Yeah. Um, don't eat. Come chat with Cassandra. We just need this tour to end. Oh, we can't show him this room because it's locked. Let's unlock. Can I unlock the door? Yeah. I, I left it locked so that Alexander could have some privacy. Go here. I don't know how many tour points we get. Show the room. Um, he likes it. Nice. Uh, thanks for the tour. Okay, let's do dinner now. Everybody is starving. <gasps> Wait. Did he get struck by lightning? Did I? I missed that. Oh no, Alexander. I'm so sorry. I did not see that at all. Okay. You come take care of yourself. Use the toilet and take a shower. Um, Kitty, I know you're hungry, but you need to also not forget to um, call the headmaster for dinner. Okay. Nice. Okay. So they're all coming, which is great. All right. Let's plan this strategically. So Dina needs to be at the table. Wait, why can't they, they come eat? Oh, and that is uh, Mowgli's Insulin Time. So I will be right back. Let me do um, a quick save. Um, I think I can put some words on stream on. So let me go ahead and get that. So that you can have something to do because the insulin can take me a little bit longer sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, let me do that. All right, we are back. He took it like a champ. He's such a good guy. He has been like, he knows now that 
the insulin is coming and I don't think like it doesn't hurt him so long as I do it properly but there have been a couple of times where I've just like not really gone you're supposed to do it right under the surface of the skin and if I don't pull up his skin enough which always makes me nervous because I feel like it's hurting him but it doesn't so when I pull the skin up if I get too scared that I'm hurting him and I don't pull it up enough I can go into a little bit his muscle so he does feel it but if I pull up his skin enough and I'm just going under the surface of the skin he doesn't feel it but because he knows it's coming um thank god that was a travesty no worries omega also i was laughing at your message you thought he was dead he actually does look kind of like a skeleton doesn't he i think it's because of the hat like you can see the hat there he does look a little like uh like he's dead what what are you doing out here you need to come for the meal so so yeah um he knows it's coming and he doesn't always love it um, he definitely, there are times where he, um, he is not very impressed about, about it. And so I could tell tonight he wasn't impressed, but he still, he still was very willing to take it like a good boy. So he doesn't realize, like, I wish I could tell him that he, you know, if he doesn't take it, like he's going to get sick again. I know that if you were to understand that, cause he was not well, like he was, he really struggled. Um... So if he understood that, I know that he would um, he would take it no problem. But you can't tell your cat that. Don't forget to give the principal coffee. We already did. We got um, Headmaster Head Coffee 10 bonus skill points, which was such a good one that we discovered last time. So yeah, he did get his coffee. Oh, the baby's crying though. We probably need to check on that. Um... Uh, instead of playing for tips, why don't you come take care of your other child? Um, come, can you hold her? Yeah, hold her. Uh, okay, he's looking okay. He just needs to eat something, which he's about to do. Um, she's over here charming the principal. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, I think we're good. We have 60 out of 90 points. Oh no, something else is on fire. Man, this lightning is dangerous tonight. It literally lit a lamp on fire. I hope everybody doesn't like go out and run towards it again. Let's change her diaper and then we'll feed her as well while she's awake. And we can cuddle her a little bit. And then we'll put her back in her crib. Um, Alexander, what else do you need? You need a little bit more spaghetti, actually. Maybe you can grab another one. And then we'll try and sneak him out again tonight. What's she doing? Oh, she's putting herself to bed. All right. <laughs> I mean, he sees that she goes to bed at a reasonable hour. It is 10 p.m. Um, we can still try to get some schmooze points a little bit. With the principal, we'll try. Kitty is losing enthusiasm about nature. Okay. Um. Oh, did my music stop? Yeah. Time to pick another playlist. I want to see if I can find like a Halloween themed playlist or Halloween themed music that we can do. Um, did she manage to do it? I'm not really sure. Where did he go? Oh, he's off, I think. All right, so we got her into, though, we definitely got her into private school. One of three out of 90. That's a pretty good score. That's probably our best score yet, and we didn't even have, like, very high-quality food, because usually I have Sims with much higher cooking skill points, but he still was pretty happy, so that's good. Um, okay, and then... For you, once you're done that, let's... Uh, can we not sneak out? Oh yeah, there we go. So he also wants to sneak out with Edward. So we will get that set up for him tonight. And I do think we're going to end things here. Um, like We'll end things here with, uh, with Alexander sneaking out. But did she not get into private school? Did we not get a notification about it? Yeah, she's in private school. Did I miss the message? 
I don't remember seeing a message. I love that you can play for tips in your own house. I know that is pretty hilarious. I probably did something like that when I was like a little kid and I'd be like to my parents, got any slink. I just want them to give me their spare change. Um, I used to do that and I would like set up art, like my drawings and I would try to sell those. My grandpa would always give me a few pennies for a drawing. I think I charged like five cents or something a drawing. Um, but definitely as an adult, I feel like that's not as much a thing that you're want to do. All right, you can go to bed. Um, you really need to go to the bathroom, so maybe you can do that. Did he, did he sneak out? I feel like that didn't happen. Am I just like missing everything today? I think I am. I think I'm getting tired. Um, but... Anyways, we will end things soon. I'm just going to, I just want Alexander to sneak out and then, um, and then we will end things there. So the next time that we play, um, we have a bunch of birthdays. So Alexander will be aging up. Um, uh, Tina will be aging up. Uh, Lena will be aging up. Uh, Dina is probably going to want to try to get pregnant and Cassandra will have a baby. So it'll be a very busy part. And then we'll probably want to figure out what to do, um, with their living situation. So I do love having everyone in one house. Um, it's a lot to manage, but it is nice to have them all together and also to be able to play through their lives together. But if we were to split them up a bit, it might be, um, a little bit easier to sort of give... For example, Alexander, who just gets a little bit neglected, he could he could definitely do um, a lot more on his own. He's off to sneak out. Oh no, don't get caught by that skunk. Um, so we'll just have to decide who stays in the goth mansion and um, what a good week it's been. I hope I can keep this up. Yeah, we'll just have to decide who stays in the goth mansion and what we do with the other families. So maybe we can take a quick look at the neighborhood. We'll do a quick save. They have so much money. So I think Dina would be totally fine to move out. I don't think she's attached to the house. Whereas I do feel that for Cassandra and Alexander, like a lot of their family is buried in that graveyard. Dina might find that a little bit weird and creepy anyways. So she might try to find her own home. And if they split the money because they have like 600 grand or something, she could probably get one of these other like really expensive. Oh my gosh. Imagine if they got this house. <gasps> Whoa, we could probably do it. I'd love to sneak out via limo. Me too, honestly. I have I ever been. I think I was in limo when I was a child for somebody's wedding or something. I was a flower girl. So but um, there is this villa. Maybe Dina would try to buy this for and move her sister and Dawn into it. And they could all live in this giant villa. And then um, her one daughter would have her dad around. So maybe that's something we could do. But um, anyways, I will put us back to chatting. Um, and... Yeah, I think that's where we'll leave things for today. So thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out.